women are leaving the workforce in droves. Not to be stay-at-home moms, but stay-at-home entrepreneurs. The U.S. Census reports that women are starting more than 1,200 small businesses a day. That's twice as many as just three years ago. And Forbes reports 80% of consumer spending is controlled by women. But what makes these entrepreneurial women so successful? We'll let them tell you. You might call them opportunity entrepreneurs. These women are celebrating the publication of their new book, Pure Wealth, 26 Ways to Crazy Profitability. They're sharing the secrets of their success. Be an ambitious woman. Successful people decide they're going to be ambitious. Esther Spina says she made $5 million in seven years selling electricity. You make the decision one time and you keep going forward. That's number one. And number two is you just never ever give up. Gail Goodman coaches companies and individuals on improving their phone skills. The challenge is what do you have that you're going to get people to pay you for? That's like the most critical question. Dr. Patricia Sulak, a gynecologist, has made herself a wellness expert. It's not just about our physical health, it's about our emotional health, our spiritual health, our socioeconomic health. We have to put all of this together. These women agree. The first five things new entrepreneurs need to do, market yourself and your brand. Use phrases that work for you. Overcome your personal barriers. Hire coaches and other experts to fill in your gaps and build relationships. That's really the power of having a coach, hiring an expert. You're paying for that person's time and you're paying for that person to help keep you accountable. And you tell people, you know, I'm not here to sell you anything. I'm here to help you find the solution you're looking for. Above all, these successful women say it's important for new entrepreneurs to develop a strong sense of themselves to turn their passion into profits. And women are not only helping themselves, but the economy. It's estimated that women-owned businesses generated more than 1.3 trillion dollars in revenues and employed nearly 8 million people. How about that? But still, sometimes, regardless of the success stories you hear or how they got started, um, getting a business started and continuing it sometimes seems like it's just out of reach. The thing is, it doesn't have to be the case. So joining us today to tell us more about a local program helping entrepreneurs is Bill Burke, who is the Director of Entrepreneurship Competition at Salisbury University, and John Churchman, who is the founder of College Scooters and Cycles. Thank you so much. Well, thank you for, for having joining. us. Bill, let me start with you. Explain to me what Salisbury University's Make sure I get this right. Shore Hatchery Entrepreneurship Competition is. Very good, thanks. So the Shore Hatchery started as a result of our student competition. So for 28 years, we've had the um, Bernstein competition. Okay. It's probably the longest running business plan competition in the university systems. Right. And we've expand expanded it two years ago to add a poster and pitch portion to it. One of the our local judges, Bruce Rogers from um, Sherwood, Sherwood? Sherwood? Yep. Yeah. Right. Sherwood of Salisbury um, witnessed it and um, said, wow, this is fantastic. I want to go talk to um, my friends, the, the Radcliffe's, Cal Radcliffe, yeah. because he knew they were investing in entrepreneurship in other venues. So we met with them and we talked to them about, you know, putting together a program and a competition and it would consist of um, two rounds and they were excited about it and they stopped, came back and said, we'd like to give you a million dollars over five years. It sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. One of the um, things that we'd like to uh, create an opportunity for any of the applicants is that, um, and as mentioned in your earlier piece, mm -hmm. that being able to communicate. Right. So it's you know similar to Shark Tank where you have to walk in to a room of judges, give a one minute pitch, and then f five to six minutes of questions from our judges, and you have to be on your. You have to be. Re you have to be ready. You have to know your material. You have to be energetic. Right. You have to be enthusiastic, and you know. After that, uh, certain a few were selected to move on to the presentation portion, yeah. where they give a longer, more detailed presentation, and then longer time for questions. And then, uh, typically, four are selected to be rewarded. Um, from the 200,000 is available each year. So John, all this is familiar to you because <laughs> you are a past winner. Absolutely, yeah, it was a great experience for us. And really, you know, the money is one part. It's great as an entrepreneur to be able to grow your business with those funds, but uh, the, the biggest gain from this competition was definitely the, um, the mentorship yeah. that we got. We got a team behind us and we came in in the fall in the first round and we didn't win any funding. We got a team of mentors behind us and they really transformed our business and took us to the next level. 
and uh, really helped us grow as both entrepreneurs and just you know, regular business owners. And the, yeah, these are local, successful businessmen and women. Absolutely, you know, so they understand the local economies, they understand the same market trends that we deal with um, in, in related but also different categories. So they mm -hmm. really transform their business knowledge and their business into our business and kind of gives an outside perspective. Okay, so big picture, what has it done for you? Great, so we basically took three initiatives. We took our showroom, our staffing, and our selling efforts and basically boosted each one of those. So we made our stores nicer, uh, we improved our marketing efforts, and we just improved our overall uh, buying experience for our customers. And um, that was both through the funding and just through the mentorship. And um, those kinds of key words, that alliteration, are right. the things we learned from our mentors. Mm -hmm. So I'll okay. keep passing it on here on to Marvel Light. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Bill, John was a great candidate. What makes a great candidate? So a great candidate, one it is know your business, and mm -hmm. John, John knows, knows his business. Two, energetic, enthusiastic, and you know, a big part of this is convincing the judges who will eventually be mentors to you know, move them on in the competition. And what John was able to do when he, when he participated in the first round, their um, excitement, their enthusiasm, their energy, their interest in moving forward, even though it didn't get them the financial support, it, it got them the expertise from our mentors. So our mentors worked with them, helped sharpen their program, and then they were able to come back and win the, the second competition of last year. Okay, so this is kind of a high stress kind of thing. What if you're a little bit nervous about trying to make a pitch <laughs> like this in front of somebody? Right. Well, there's a, one, we provide a lot of training on campus and support, and everyone that applies, I contact and talk to them in regard to, okay, what do they need to do? Additionally, there's um, the Startup Maryland program, yeah. which is a pitch bus that is starting in Ocean City and moving um, from Ocean City across the state. On Monday, this coming Monday, it will be in Ocean City, downtown Salisbury at noon, right. for 2, two o'clock in front of the chamber, so I'd encourage anyone to get there. Um, it also will be at Hot Desk. So basically, with that, that's a studio on wheels. Mm. Right. And so any entrepreneur, if, even if they're just thinking about it, they're not sure, they're not ready, Get, get on the bus, go into the studio, practice your pitch, and then there'll be individuals there that will review it with you, give you some coaching and feedback. All right, and of course, there is a deadline. Here's all the information you need to know. The Shore Hatchery Entrepreneurship Competition, up to $200,000 is awarded each academic year. That deadline is September 22nd, and the entrepreneur finalists will then compete October 24th. Thank you so much for so much. coming in yeah, and talking you. about Pleasure. this. And good luck with your business, John. Good luck with everything. Yeah. And of yeah. course, for more information about Salisbury University Shore Hatchery Entrepreneurship Competition, go to WBOC.com and click on our picture at the top of the page. Well, from one opportunity to another, how about a chance to get on the water in a boat like no other? A dragon boat. Don't marvel life, Sean Stryker has more, Sean. Yeah, coming up this weekend, these 46 feet dragon boats will be racing up the canal in Lewis. Coming up, I'll have your details on the second annual Lewis Dragon Boat Festival. Well, of course, all that fun you don't want to do on an empty stomach, so a little bit later on, we are in the Delmarva Life kitchen making chicken cordon bleu. Delmarva Life will be right back.